previous lecture we have completed chapter number 6 part 3 and we discuss about HCF and LCM by different methods. Today we are going to start with part 4. So let's begin. So now let us see what is the relationship of HCF and LCM. So product of HCF into LCM is equal to product of two numbers. Product of HCF and LCM is equal to product of two numbers. Question number one. Find the HCF if the product of two numbers is 720 and their LCM is 36. So let us use this relationship. HCF into LCM is equal to product of two numbers. So here we have to find out HCF. So right here HCF into LCM is given 36. So right here 36 equal to product of two numbers. Product of two numbers is given 720. So right here 720. So since we know that when left hand side is multiplied when it goes right hand side, it becomes divide. Multiply becomes divide. So, HCF is equal to 720 divided by 36. 36, 20 is up. So, HCF is equal to how much? 20. Clear? Now, question number 2. The HCF of two numbers is 15 and the LCM is 45. If one number is 25, find the other number. So how we will do? First write the relation product of two numbers is equal to HCF into LCM. So here one number is given and the other number we have to find out. So we can write like this. First number into second number is equal to HCF into LCM. Now third step. We have to find out the other number. So let us say other number is second number. So if this will go that side, it will be in divide. So let us write second number is equal to HCF into LCM divided by first number. So, HCF is given how much? 15. So, right here, 15 into LCM is given 45. Right here, 45 upon first number is given 25. So, right here, 25. Now, we have to divide. So, we know table 5, 3 is a 15, 5, 5 is a 25. 5, 9, sir, 45. Now we will multiply. 3 into 9. So, 3 into 9 is 27. So, the other number is 27. Next, question number 3. Find the greatest number which divides 56 and 84 exactly. So students, to find greatest number, we have to find out HCF by division method. So let us divide 56 and 84. So in my previous lecture, I have told you the smaller number will be divisor. So 56 will be divisor and the higher number that is 84, it will be dividend. So divide 56 and 84, 56 ones are 56. Subtract it will be 28. Then again divide. Till the time we do not get remainder 0, we keep on dividing. 
So now 28 is new divisor and old divisor will be new dividend. So write this dividend here. 56. 28 to the 56. Subtract. Remainder is 0. So the last divisor. Last divisor will be HCF. So write here. HCF is equal to 28. HCF is equal to 28. So at last you can write 28 is the greatest number which divides 56 and 84 exactly. Now question number 4. What is the smallest number that is divisible by 20, 25 and 30? Smallest number. For smallest number we have to find out LCN. So let us find out LCN by short division method. So Draw a line and write here 20, 25, 30. So all can go by 5. So let us write here 5, 4, sir, 5, 5, sir, 5, 6. Sir. Now they can go by 2. So let us write here 2, 2, sir. 5 will be 5 and 2, 3, sir. We divide till the time we do not get. All prime numbers in last row. So we got all the prime numbers. So let us write LCM. We have to multiply all these numbers. So 5 into 2. Right here 5 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 3. So right here 2 into 5 into 3. So multiply 5 to the 10. 10 to the 20, 25 sir, 100, 103 sir, 300. So LCM is 300. So at last we can write 300 is the smallest number that is divisible by 20, 25 and 30. What is divisibility test? A divisibility test is a rule for determining whether one whole number is divisible by another. It is a quick way to find factors of large numbers. Now, divisibility rules and tests. Number 1. Divisibility by 2. The digit in the 1's place should be 2, 4, 6, 8 or 0. It should be even numbers. Example, number 3, 1, 8. So the number written in 1's place is 8 and this is an even number and therefore divisible by 2. Number 2. Divisibility by 3. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. Example, let us take number 3, 7, 5. It is divisible by 3 since sum of its digits 3 plus 7 plus 5 is 15 and 15 is divisible by 3. Next, divisibility by 4. A number is divisible by 4 if the number's last two digits are divisible by 4. Example, the number is 9312. So it is divisible by 4 since its last two digits are 12. And 12 is divisible by 4. Next, divisibility by 5. A number is divisible by 5 if its last digit is a 0 or 5. Example, Number 45. The last digit is 5. So this number is divisible by 5. Next, divisibility by 6. A number is divisible by 6 if it is even and if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. Example, let us take number 114. So 114 is even. And the sum of its digits 1 plus 1 plus 4 
is equal to 6, it is divisible by 3. Therefore, 114 is divisible by 2 and 3. So, yes, 114 is divisible by 6. Next, divisibility by 9. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of the digits are evenly divisible by 9. Example, the number is 4518. So, 4 plus 5 plus 1 plus 8 is equal to 18, which is divisible by 9. So, this number is divisible by 9. Next, divisibility by 10. A number is divisible by 10 if the digit in its 1's place is 0. Example, 190. So, the last digit is 0. That's all that is needed for a number to be divisible by 10. Last digit is 0. So, students, you all have seen divisibility rules and tests. I hope it is clear. So, now let us do some questions based on that. Question number 1. Which of the following numbers are divisible by 2? A by 9, 7, 6. So, in divisibility by 2, a digit in 1's place should be 2, 4, 6, 8 or 0. So, digit in 1's place here is 6. So, is it divisible by 2? Yes. And it is a even number. Now, B bar 1, 9, 8, 5. So, the digit in 1's place is 5. So, is 5 even number? No. The digit in 1's place should be even number. So, right here, no. Now, question number 2. Which of the following numbers are divisible by 3? A bar 1, 4, 9, 3. So, in divisibility by 3, the sum of its digit should be divisible by 3. So, let us add these numbers. 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 3. 1 plus 4, 5. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So here, sum is 17. Is 17 divisible by 3? No. In 3 tables, 17 does not come. So right here, no. Now, B part. 2, 6, 4, 1, 2. So let us do some of these numbers. 2 plus 6 plus 4 plus 1 plus 2. So 2 plus 6. 8. 8 plus 4, 12. 12 plus 1, 13. 13 plus 2, 15. Is 15 divisible by 3? Yes. 3 finds the 15. So right here, yes. Now question number 3. Which of the following numbers are divisible by 4? A bar 8, 9, 4. So students, a number is divisible by 4. If the last two digits is divisible by 4. So here last two digit is 94. Is 94 divisible by 4? Let us check. Divide 94 by 4. 4 2's are 8. 14. 4 3's are 12. So remainder is 2. So 94 is not divisible by 4. Now B part 1 0 5 6. What are the last two digits? 56. Is 56 divisible by 4? Let us check. Divide this 56 by 4. 4 ones are 4. 16. 4 fours are 16. Remainder is 0. So yes, 1 0 5 6 is divisible by 4. Now question number 4. Which of the following numbers are divisible by 5? Students, a number is divisible by 5 if digit in 1's place is 0 or 5. Then we can say number is divisible by 5. So, 1, 9, 8, 0. So, in 1's place, number is 0. So, we can say yes, the number is divisible by 5. Now, B part, 1, 7, 8, 5. So, in 1's place, what is the number? 5. So, is 5 divisible by 5? Yes. 
Students, that's all for today's class. So chapter number 6, part 4 is completed. So here we have completed our chapter. Do practice these questions at home. LCM, HCL, prime factorization, multiples, factors. It is very interesting topic. So now we will continue in our next class. Take care. Bye-bye.